Hi everybody, this is the Planet Earth here. I wanted to talk to you guys about a problem I'm having. And this has been since the uh, benzodiazepine withdrawal. So, um, every morning my pulse rate, even when I sleep as comfortable as possible, um, and no caffeine, um, my pulse is jumping to about 130, 140. Not all the time, but it depends, I guess. I, I honestly, I don't know what it is, but, uh, I'm having tachycardia only in the morning, so this Ativan withdrawal is not only hurting me, but I'm having more issues than I should be, and it's getting worse and worse and worse. Um, I'm going to try a beta, a beta blocker and see what happens about that pulse, and if it doesn't stop, then I'm going to go look in the sleep apnea, and if that doesn't stop... Uh, I'm gonna go have my uh, iron levels checked and thyroid levels checked because I'm having night terrors now. Um, I am waking up full-blooded cold sweat. Not short of breath or anything, just full-blooded cold sweat. Heart racing and then slowing down after about 20 minutes. And it's not necessarily a panic attack, but it's... It's scary because I almost wake up to the point where I'm screaming. And this is thanks to Ativan withdrawal. You know, if there's any Ohio legislators out there, I'd like to punch you in the face. Because there's, there's some states like this that are not very strict. And then there's some states that are just extremely strict. It's sad that, you know, oxycodone is given more here than Ativan is. And I don't even like oxycodone. I don't like the effects of it. So, I'm going to look into these night terrors. I'm also going to look into, um... Just, I've done everything I can. I've, I've, I've looked at as much blood level as I can. I can only look so much. Um, I really don't know what else to do. <sighs> but I'm going to figure it out. Because i got to get to the bottom of that. I wasn't having this issue until I had that one high heart rate episode. Ever since then, it's been like that. It hasn't been as high as that, though. But uh, it's I can't sleep eight hours anymore because of the heart racing. And I've been looking everywhere, but I can't find out what the issue is. So I gotta keep looking. Oh. I don't know what to do. It's getting worse and worse and worse. Every day, it's just not, not the heart, but just the withdrawal. It's just getting worse and worse and worse. Um, Pensodiazepine is a fucking bitch. I hate this shit so badly. But I'd like to re on a regular dose of Ativan. I wouldn't have as much tension at night. And I've tried many different medications. I have tried. I mean, we're, we've gone through the whole, almost the whole list. Even lithium at one time didn't help with it. So I gotta keep. I guess I just gotta keep looking. But it's it's difficult because I don't know what the fuck it is, and uh, I don't know how to cure it. But um, I had a EKG done when I was waking up at the hospital. And it was high, but it was a sinus tachycardia. There was no PVCs or packs detected. And uh, I just don't know. So maybe I'm just at that age where I'm susceptible to arrhythmias now, I guess. And if it's not arrhythmia, there's something else going on. i got to figure it out. But uh, if you guys have been following my channel for a while, you guys will know that mainly I'm more worried and more normal than... I should be because it's Ativan withdrawal. And anybody who comes to the state of Ohio, I must warn you, don't come here if you're looking for benzodiazepines to calm your anxiety down. Because unfortunately, the people who don't suffer from mental illness in this country, they don't give a shit if you uh, are comfortable in your life or not. Just remember that. When you go to a doctor's office and they prescribe you these medications like antidepressants and antipsychotic medication, they are not looking it for you. They're doing it for themselves for money. Because benzodiazepines, they don't uh, they don't make much money off of you if they just give you prescription for benzos. So just remember that. Remember the doctors are mainly against you unless they actually care about the patient. Unless they want to see a patient happy, they're in it for money, and that's all they seem to care about. And and that's what I'm realizing here in this state. Um, I didn't realize that in California because California even everybody helped me there. I had no issues. Um, Texas was the same way. I had no issues getting benzodiazepines for anxiety. Um, but here, it's hell on earth. I'm, like I said, I'm having night terrors. 
Uh, I'm waking up with a rapid pulse, but it goes down after about 10, 20 minutes, but it's scary. And it's almost every night. It's not every single night, but it's almost every single night. And then I, sometimes I wake up to the point where I almost want to scream for no reason. Hey guys, this is, a, this is tough. This is some tough shit. If uh, any of you guys know um, on any other state that I could go to that would be less benzo restricted, I would love and appreciate that. Because I'm seriously thinking about going somewhere else to get help for my mental health. Because it seems the state of Ohio is failing me so miserably. Having to go through withdrawal... It's just, it's it's not even funny the way they're withdrawing me here. Um, if you guys recommend any other states that I could possibly go to to get assistance, I would appreciate it. Because this is a fast taper, well, this is considered a fast taper compared to a year taper. A year taper would be good. I can get off that stuff within a year and I'd be happy. But this is just terrible. Alright, thank you guys for watching.